So about 11 months ago, I built up a Raglan Bob, and it's by far the best bike I've ever owned. It's comfortable, good looking, agile, fast, and most importantly, it's a ton of fun to ride. And since building my Mbop, I've been following and posting in a couple Ragley owner groups, and I noticed that a lot of people were asking if anyone's converted their Mbop to a mullet setup. So it made me think to myself, why not test out a mullet setup to see how it rides? So in this video, I'm going to go over my experience running a mullet setup on my Mbop, and give some feedback on the riding characteristics, and if you should consider running a mullet setup on your bike as well. So the stock Mbop is designed to run 27 half inch wheels, and with a 150mm fork, it has a 63.75 degree head angle and a fairly long wheelbase. For my testing of the mullet setup, I used the only fork that was available to me, so I used a 160mm 29er fork for my enduro bike. And other than the wheel and the fork, I left everything exactly the same. So how did the mullet setup affect the basic geometry? Well now, the bike is slacker, longer, and the front end sits higher. And just by looking at the bike here, you can see how slack and long it really is. And the higher front end gives the bike a more upright seating position. But with all that being said, what really matters is, how does it ride? So the climbing on the regular Umbop is not the bike's strongest attribute. In its stock form, with a 27 half inch fork, the bike handles long climbs pretty well, but nothing to write home about. It's a slack aggressive hardtail and it climbs like it. So my expectations for the mullet setup were actually pretty low especially considering how much longer and slacker the bike now is. But to my surprise, I actually prefer the way the bike climbs as a mullet setup. The front end still tends to get light and it does wander a little bit. And I was still having to lean a little more forward than I normally would. But other than that, it was actually really nice to pedal with. The front end sat much higher, so I was much more comfortable since I was sitting in a more upright position. Also, the bottom bracket did increase slightly. So I did notice that I was able to clear more technical rocket climbs with much less pedal strikes and rarely hitting my bash guard. The bigger front wheel also helped a lot in being able to climb over obstacles and just made pedaling uphill at my local trails a little bit easier and more enjoyable. But even though the mullet setup is much more noticeable in technical climbs, the only real difference I really felt were long pedally climbs. This was due to the more upright seating position, which I did appreciate. And while I'm sure you love hearing about how the Mbop climbs, let's get to what the Mbop was really designed for and why people love these bikes so much, and that's the downhill. In my original review of the Ragley, I mentioned how the Mbop straight up rips downhill like no other hardtail that I've ever ridden. And I can confirm that the aggressive speed demon personality of the Mbop still remains as a mullet. In fact, I actually think that this bike in a mullet setup is more capable than a regular Mbop, and the bike just feels ridiculously stable at high speed. The combination of a bigger wheel, slacker head angle, and a longer wheelbase makes this a bike you can just let go of the brakes and rip down a hill at excessive speeds. And don't worry about the Mbop losing any of its personality. The rear end still dances behind you when going down a chattery downhill, it's just that the front is more compliant and stable, both in chunk and at speed. So the bike is still a downhill slayer. But did the mullet setup make the bike worse in corners? Absolutely not. This bike has so much grip up front, that I almost feel like you have to ride intentionally bad to get the front end to wash out. So I've been riding my bike as a mullet for about 4 months or so, and I've put hundreds of miles on it, and I haven't had the front end wash out of me once. Now have had some moments where the front end got a little light? Of course I have. But I can only think of one time where I had to stick my foot out to save the front end from tucking underneath me. And the best part is, is since the Mbop has short chain stays, the bike remains flickable and changes directions insanely good. The amount of control this bike gives you is mind blowing. To put it simply, this bike rips on downhills and is even more stable with the mullet setup. So the last thing that I did in order to test out the Mbop's true capability was racing it in the SoCal Enduro Kenda Cup. This race is held in Temecula, California, and the course is designed not only to test the capabilities of the rider, but the bike's performance and durability. And the Ragley absolutely shined in the chunky stuff, and it was able to handle everything that the course offered. And it was still an Enduro course, and I was still on a hardtail, and I'm not the youngest guy, so my body still took a beating. But you know what? I still had so much fun, and I was thankful that I had a bike that was designed to handle this kind of abuse. And just in case you're wondering, yes, your boy in the Mbop got the W. So the real question is, should you convert your bike to a mullet? And my answer is, it depends. If you love your bike and you don't want to mess with it, then I think you should leave it alone. 
but if you're curious on how the mullet setup will alter the personality of the bike, then I wholeheartedly think that you should give it a try. I do think that one of the reasons that the mullet worked for me so well is I'm 5'10", which puts me right in between the medium and large frame sizes, but I chose to go with the medium frame. And since I'm on the taller end of the medium sizing, converting to the 29 inch fork and wheel essentially made the front of the bike the same height as a large mbop, so it never really felt too big. Also, I was lucky enough that I had a 29 inch fork and a wheel sitting around that I could use to test the mullet setup. But if you or a buddy have a 29 inch fork and wheel lying around, I do recommend testing this out before committing to spending the money on a new fork and front wheel, since this is not a cheap conversion. But with that being said, I truly believe that converting my mbop to a mullet was one of the best decisions I've ever made with any of my bikes. And I loved riding the mullet mbop so much that I decided to buy a new fork and wheel and made the mullet my full time setup and I have no regrets about it. And I think the bike looks absolutely wicked and it freaking rips while being more stable and still having that hardcore hardtail lunacy. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you've turned your bike into a mullet, let me know what you think about it. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much and have a great one.